Okay, so we're going to discuss your test. Okay, 13.5. I think A, 13.5A. This will be um, under exercise. Uh, 13.5, including your introduction and then question B. One, two, three. We'll find this textbook page, I think. Textbook page 245. Page 245. So write it likewise along with me. Now under your introduction, we're going to form <coughs> discuss two formulas. So you just write on. So introduction basically is here we mean introduction to the two formulas. Okay, so here let us take that of the cuboid. First formula here, A, let us say. Draw the cuboid along with me. We know that we are we know we are already, I mean, familiar with what is a cuboid? It is a solid, right? Having three dimensions, measurement from here to here, length, and this one is breadth or width, and this is your height. So in this class, we are going to discuss here volume of a cuboid. Volume of a given cuboid will be, okay, given by this formula, base area. Base area into height. Write it along with me. So here, base area means the area of this bottom floor of the cuboid. So that is a rectangle. So length into breadth is the base area. Into height here is h. So volume of a cuboid will be given by L into B into h. Okay. So next we're going to discuss the second one is a cube. We know cube is a cuboid only but the length breadth and height are equal so cube is a cuboid in which the length the breadth and the height are the same okay so b let a be the edge that means one of the measurement of the edges and the characteristic nature the main characteristic nature of a cube is that all the 12 edges are of same length. So let A represent its edge measurement. So here, volume of cube will be given by L into B into H. Why? Because by definition, a cube is a cuboid. So it will have the same formula. But the difference is L, B, and H are all same. So L is A, B is A, H is A. So volume of a cube will come out to be A cube. <clears throat> Basically, volume means volume or capacity means amount of liquid that can be filled inside this cuboid or inside this one. So it is a three-dimensional thing. For example, volume of this cup will be how much water will go in when you fill it to the brim means the top so how much liquid can be filled in a solid is called its volume okay so volume is basically the amount of liquid or air also you can say that can be filled inside the solid okay so we're going to use these two formulas so just remember that memorize those two formulas and now we're going to do your Question B1, page 245. Let me read the question for us. A matchbox measures, a matchbox measures four centimeter into 2.5 centimeter into 1.5 centimeter. What will be the volume of a packet containing 12 such boxes? That means there are 12 such matchboxes. So here clearly the matchbox dimension seems to be something like this. So draw along with me. Match box in which match sticks are placed inside. Its dimensions are 
4 centimeter look at your text into 2.5 means its bread is 2.5 centimeter into 1.5 means this one here the height is 1.5 centimeter so such is the dimension of each mesh box so here <coughs> dimension dimensions of the match box or each match box whichever way you like to put it it has got three dimensions because a match box is cuboidal so cuboid has three dimensions length breadth and height so l is four centimeter representing its length and b is 2.5 centimeter representing its breadth or we can also call it as width breadth or width means the same thing you can use any one of these two not necessary to use both okay so here h is equal to 1.5 centimeter is the height of this match box therefore i will say simple case volume of each the word each means one right each matchbox now the matchbox is clearly cuboidal so it will have the same formula as volume of a cuboid l into b into h so that will be equal to l is 4 into b is 2.5 into h is 1.5 and area is two dimensional so area will come out centimeter square meter square but volume is three dimensional so if it's centimeter it should be centimeter cube likewise if the volume is to be expressed in meter in meter then it will be meter cube because why because volume is three-dimensional area means centimeter square volume is always centimeter cube or cubic centimeter now let me show you a trick here of how to multiply wherever you see 25 this is 2.5 but imagine as if it's 25 25 is a very easy time table you see here 25 ones are 25 why am i saying easy because you can figure out the multiples of 25 by your common sense 25 twos are uh, let us think about that 25 twos means there are two 25s 25 25 25, 25 2 means 25 25 added two times common sense also tells us it's 50 25 tinta or three one more therefore will be 75 25 four four of them 25 25 25 25 sorry 25 25 four of them 50 50 so it's a very easy thing to settle or figure out what are the multiples of 25 in other words multiples of the time table 25 are easy to figure out because it's an easy number to figure out by common sense without actually multiplying two fives are ten plus one one and then two two are four plus one instead of doing that with our common sense we can figure out because 25 is a easy number to figure out so here let us use that now imagine as if this is not having decimal then 25 into 4 25 into 4 you see here time table means repeated addition right 25 ones are 25 25 twos are means 25 25 two times 50 like that so 25 fours are means 25 25 25 50 25 25 50 so 50 50 100 so 25 four is 100 you can write on your rough when you do this too then after that you put a decimal one decimal plus means right from extreme right the decimal will be here so 10.0 means simply 10 which means when you multiply these two you got 10 so if you use the 10 when decimal multiplied to a 0 1 0 then decimal move right so this will become 15 right 15 <coughs> uh, centimeter cube so the volume of each match box is 15 centimeter cube so this thing you can easily do without going to the rough at all see here 25 into 400 and one decimal means one 
10.0, so 10. So 10 into this will move the decimal this side. Easily you can sort out. So therefore, they're asking you the volume of, look into your Texas, a packet of the packet containing of the packet containing 12 such boxes 12 such boxes this is what the question is asking us will be the volume of one is 15 centimeter cube one match box but there are 12 match boxes means multiplied to 12 so 15 into 12 will be 35 and 1 so 0 8 and 1 you can write this on your half so the total volume of 12 that packet containing 12 such max boxes match boxes will be 180 centimeter cube so the answer is 180 centimeter cube <clears throat> let us go to b2 so b2 here B2. Let's read the question. A cubital water tank, 6 meter long, 5 meter wide, 4.5 meter deep. So let's draw the water tank. Cuboid, so we can just draw it. 6, 5, and 4.5. Okay. Something like this. 6 meter long. According to question, 5 meter wide and then 4.5 meter deep. So that's it. So here, dimensions of the cuboidal tank, cuboidal water tank. Or you can simply say cuboidal tank. L is 6 meter its length B is 5 meter they have called it as uh, white 5 meter wide so it's the same language as that of the question if they say bread use bread then H is equal to 4.5 meter deep so this is the depth 4.5 meter deep so this is the depth depth or height when it's below your eye level, it's usually called depth because the tank is containing water. So how deep is the water? But if it's usually above your eye level, then it's called height. Okay. So this is the dimension given. Now, what is the question asking? Let us read it carefully. How many liters? So we have to express the volume in liters. Remember that. Of water can it hold? You have to use one meter cube this information is given as thousand liters this is already given inside the question in the last part let's see so you have to say how many liters of water can it hold therefore liters of water in other words liter means the volume only liters of water it can hold it means here the tank can hold the full volume will be lbh right so that will be equal to l is here 6 into 5 into 4.5 then here meter cube because volume is three-dimensional so just keep it meter cube for now we have to change to liters now this is also very easy six fives are 30 so use this one zero here no need to do this and the symbol will go here so it becomes 45 the symbol will move right then zero is used up so only three left so this is your answer three fives are 15 three fours are 12 13 so 135 meter cube is the volume of liquid water it can hold but they're asking in liters see here one meter cube is thousand means meter cube is the bigger unit this liter is the smaller because this number is bigger so bigger unit smaller unit 
So you're going to change meter cube to liter means you're changing big to small. So you have to divide. When you change a bigger to a smaller unit, you divide. When you change a smaller to a bigger unit, you multiply. Since you're changing meter cubes, bigger to smaller, liter. So you have to divide. So oh, you're changing the bigger to smaller, so you have to multiply. I've made it ultra sorry. When you change big to small, we multiply. Small to big, we divide. Changing a bigger unit to a smaller unit, so multiply. So you see here 135 multiply to this one thousand meter cube will go away and then liters will come inside. Just keep that in mind. Bigger to smaller unit, you multiply, smaller to bigger. We divide. So here clearly one meter cube is just one meter cube is making thousand liters means meter cube is bigger than liters. So big to small, so multiply by this thousand. So that is going to be giving you one simple as one three five and here one two three zeros. One two three zeros. This much liters of water it can hold when the liquid is full to the brim, to the top of the tank. Okay. They asked you to give in liters, so we did that. Now let us go and do the last question of this test part. B3. B3, okay. So here. Let me read the question for us. B3. A cuboidal vessel is 10 meter long and 8 meter wide. How high must it be met to hold 380 cubic liters, cubic meters of liquid. So, 10 meter long, okay. So, something like this, the tank, we would suppose it is, the tank is 10 meter long from here to here, and 8 meter wide, so from here to here is. 8 meter how high must it be so height is unknown here how high must it be met to hold 380 cubic meters of liquid that means when it's full the liquid should be 380 cubic meters so here dimensions of the exact thing you are using is Cuboidal vessel, so cuboidal vessel. In other words, vessel tank more or less the same. So length is 10 meter, the length. And they're saying 8 meter wide. So let us use the language width. B is 8 meter, it's width. The blue eye DTH and H is question mark is the required height of the tank we have to find. Since, question is saying, it must hold, it must or it should hold 380 cubic meters, 380 cubic meters of the particular liquid water or what whatever it is so the total volume must be 380 cubic meters when it's full that is in other words this <coughs> volume of the tank volume of the cuboidal vessel they're using the word vessel volume of the cuboidal vessel in other words must be 380 cubic meter means you can also write meter cube like this or cubic meter is the same so since it must hold 380 cubic meters so volume of the cuboidal vessel must be exactly 380 so in other words volume of a cuboid is l into b into h volume this one is the same on right hand side 380 
meter cube. And that implies L is here 10 meter into B here 8 meter into H is equal to 380 meter cube. So H don't move then 380 meter cube just keep it there and shift this 10 it will go down 10 meter h shift to right side will go down to denominator 8 meter so it's just a matter of doing this carefully 0 0 cancel 2 4 are 8 2 one's are 2 1 in hand 2 nines are 18 380 or yes 380 so 19 by 4 so this is here before that meter 1 to the power 1 so 3 minus 1 2 there meter to the power 1 and 2 minus 1 power 1 no need of writing 1 so you're getting 19 by 4 meter so if you divide 19 by 4 4 fours are 16 3 in hand point zero four sevens are 28 2 remainder, then point means we are allowed to put 1, 0. 4, 5 are 20. So our required height of the tank must be 4.75 meter. So that's your answer, or you can write it here. Therefore, its height, that means the vessel's height, must be 4.75 meter. Same as the textbook answer. That completes the part 4, test 13.5A, okay? I hope you got it, right?